This is Joel Rubin at the Newport News Shipyard, where 17,000 blue-collar workers found a 6.5% raise in their paychecks today. The company claimed it could not give any more because of President Carter's wage guidelines. But steelworker union organizer Jack Howard says there is justification for an exception in the case of Newport News. These workers are behind in wages, uh, and, and their benefits are uh, deplorable. Uh, they're the worst in the country, you know, as far as any shipbuilding uh, uh, shipyard in the uh, country. So we believe that there's room for much more than 6.5. At the yard where there is talk of a strike over the company's refusal to recognize the steel workers, reaction to the pay hike was mixed. I don't think much about it. it. Why not? To me, I'm still in the same old bay. And really, it ain't done nothing for me. So I ain't happy about it at all. It's, it's more than we expected to get, you know, and uh, it, I think it'll help everyone. You know, everybody will be a little bit satisfied, but I think a lot of the people are still going to, you know, feel the same way. They're going to want more. You say that uh, you, you'd vote against a strike right now. Yeah, I don't know. Most people can't afford a strike, but if that's what it's going to take for us to get more money, I guess everybody's going to do it. But you'd vote against it if you... I personally would, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the stage is set for next Sunday when the Steelworkers Union holds a membership meeting at the Hampton Coliseum. All indications are that union leaders will advise the members to vote for a strike. The shipyard says it didn't give its blue-collar workers pay raises to avoid a walkout, but it certainly wouldn't mind it if that was the result. Joel Rubin, Area 10 Eyewitness News at the Newport News Shipyard.